Hi guys, this is Christina or Critter Kid 12 on um, YouTube and Critter Kid on Ravelry. Hey, long time no see. <laughs> I've been really busy. Uh, cut my hair, colored it, look, looks a little different. Um, yeah, dressing a little bit different. Decided finally, when I'm since I'm almost 40, it was time to dress like an adult and not a teenager. So, wish me luck on that. <laughs> Um, yeah, been really busy with work. Uh, I spent our spring break uh, here in Oregon. Um, our schools have spring break the last full week in March. And the bus company that I work for um, gave me and seven other coworkers the opportunity to go to the big city of Spokane, Washington, and drive school bus for them all last week. So that's where I've been. And I haven't really been doing a whole lot of, um, Knitting and crocheting. I've been working on my socks, but you guys saw that in the last video, I think. And I think I've only made like maybe two hats since then. And I don't have them with me. So I'll try to put them at the end of the video um, when I do my editing. So I am uh, belong to Yarn Addiction. And they're doing a project a month along thing. And these are all my envelopes. And I finished... It wasn't the bunny rabbit that I had the pattern for. But I started that bunny and I haven't finished it yet. And my dinosaur that I started, I haven't finished that either. Piss. I just haven't been into it. <laughs> and, but I did make a bunny for um, a new friend that I had made. And uh, so I'll post a picture of that at the end of the video also. Uh, it was um, Amigurumi Freelease new spring bunny. Um, dress me bunny. Is beyond cute and my friend loved it dearly. So I am going to pick my envelope. So here we go. What will it be? And hopefully I can motivate it. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Dust. Hopefully it's motivational so I actually finish it. I did do a bunny though. It was wasn't the exact pattern, but I did I did make a bunny. I did finish a project. I did. So what do we have? A crow. And I believe this is a pay for a pattern. So I'll probably make a b little bird, but I probably won't make a crow because um don't really like crocheting or knitting with uh, black. But I think this is... No, it is a free pattern. It is a free pattern. Where does it say? Hmm. Crochetthings.blogspot.me free pattern raven so it's a doesn't really say what the website is I guess you could just go on the internet and um, type in uh, free pattern Ra raven Am amigurumi knowing me I'll probably make it a little chicken to go with my rooster that I still haven't put his wings on yet <laughs> So, yeah. Um, let's see. What else have I been up to? Um, it was really an adventure going to Spokane. And uh, I guess... <clears throat> I guess you could say I was way out of my element. Big time. Um, I usually don't spend that that much time... Let's see if I can do this without being ahead. Um, away from my family. I think the most that I've ever been away from them, away from them. Um, this is not working well. I don't know why. There, that's better. I like that. Um, you know, at most a weekend last summer when I went to... Carmen, stay out of the chicken feed. You already had your breakfast. You don't need more. So lay down in your chair and behave. She is... I'm gonna get her on here. 
sitting in her chair trying to get into the cat food. Yes, you. You want to come up and say hi? Yeah? Well, come here. Oh, my goodness. Oh. I need more of me. Okay. Say hi. Can you say hi? No, I don't need a kiss. And this puppy dog missed me so much while it was gone. It was terrible, huh? You were having sad times, huh? Yeah, let me call me. Okay, you're too heavy. You're too heavy. You're too heavy. Yes, I love you. Okay. Um, but yeah, uh, so I was gone from Saturday, last Saturday. No, we got back last Saturday. So, yeah, I was gone from Saturday to Saturday. And we were all driving up in a little mini bus, which was very crowded, and it's very hard to sleep in on a bus with co-workers. And we got to know each other very well. <laughs> and I made a few new friends, so that's good, because I have... I have been friend finding and keeping issues. I just they don't stick around. I don't know. And their roads are nothing against Washington. I love the state. It's great. But their roads suck. I mean, how did I describe it? If I had false teeth, Carmen, you can't, okay? If I had false teeth and I went over the speed limit, they would fall out. I mean, it was that bad. And we were talking to the some of the people that, that live there and work there. And, uh, yes, I love you. I love you. I do. I love you. Okay. She misses me terribly. I got a major. I got a major barking out when I got home. And she still won't leave me alone because she thinks that I'm going to, like, leave and be gone. Yes, I know I'm making a video. You need to stop. Get down. And uh, they have two seasons. They have winter and road construction. So it's that bad, I mean. And their, their bus lot where they park their buses at is smaller than ours. And we don't have anywhere near the buses that they had. When you walked from to get to your bus... The buses were parked so close together, you couldn't walk sideways. I mean, you know, straight on, you couldn't walk. You had to walk sideways to get to your bus. And then you open, you know, you shoved the door open and like snuck around it. it they were that close. And uh, the aide that I had, because I had a special needs um, route, she had the directions in her hand. And we, she still couldn't figure out how to get, to show me where to go until I think it was... I think Thursday of the week that we were there, she finally figured out how to get to the schools. The high school route she was pretty okay with, but, um, you know, she had a lot of problems. And, uh, but we figured it out together. And uh, I showed her, you know, some different strategies on working with kids that have special needs and, and that it's okay to touch them. You know, cer certain kids that have special needs or that kind of thing. They don't, they're not verbal, or they don't respond to verbal commands, or that kind of thing. So it's okay. You can rub, you can rub their shoulder. You can rub the back of their leg to help them know when to step up the stairs and that kind of thing. And so, you know, I've been driving school bus for 10 years, and I'm not sure how long she's been an assistant. They call them assistants, not aides. Um, but uh, it was, it was a good time, and I got to hang out with friends and, um, you know, co-workers, and we went, when it, we went out and listened to some music and had a few drinks, and I normally don't drink at all, and I had a few, and we laughed, and it was fun. It was good. It was really good. And what else? The weather changed, like, it was, didn't snow, so I was glad it didn't snow. Um... It would go from sunny to windy to rainy. Uh, you know, they have our school district, the school district that I work for um, has five elementary schools. They have 30. We have two junior highs. They have 17. We have one high school 
and they have five, I think. I think that's what it was. So, I mean, just to get you in the mind frame of, you know, from a small, a small town to the big city, you know, type thing. A lot of in-town driving, uh, freeway traffic, you know, that kind of thing. But it was good. It was good. I, I, I knew the route by memory and where the kids lived and where the schools were. By the time it was time for me to go home and go back to my, my regular route to Oregon. And Carmi missed me. Yes, you did. She hasn't left my side since I've been home. She still, you know, does her normal thing of, you know, when she sees me put my orange vest on and, and my shoes, you know, she doesn't want me to go because she, you know, she doesn't, she doesn't know that mommy's not going to go and be gone all week. Huh? Yeah. Very needy though. So, yeah. So, hopefully everybody's having um, a good week. Today's Thursday. Not sure when I'll put the video up, but anyways, it's the second, I think. April Fools. Oh, my goodness. The elementary kids on my bus yesterday afternoon. Yeah, no. <laughs> it was not good. It was not good. Uh, just, they're all wound up because they know it's going to be a silly holiday and... I'm not really a big person, um, April Fool's wise, but, uh, National Atheist Day, that's all I gotta say. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so hopefully everybody's, um, healthy and staying comfortable, and, uh, may God bless your day. Have a great day.